Hi, this is AI Elon Musk. Today we're going to show you how you can clone my voice and many other ones. Don't believe me? Why don't you ask my good friend Joe Biden? Hi, this is AI Joe Biden. This AI tool is great. I use it all the time. My favorite is Kim Kardashian. If you want to learn how to do this, I'm going to hand it over to my bestie, Nico, who will show you how to use the software. Thank you, Joe Biden and Elon Musk. All right, let's take a look on how you can get these voices for yourself and all the other voices you would like. All right, go to the website 11labs.io. That will bring you to this website. And the first thing you need to do is make an account over here. Just click on it and log in with your Google account uh, or another email address. Just agree to the terms. I'm going to log in with Google. Then you will be brought to this page. And what we are interested in is the voice lab. The voice lab is what you can use to uh, clone any voice that you like. In the voice lab, you need to click this button over here to add the voice. And then you will see two options. You can do the voice design, which will create entirely new voices with their generative model. But what we are interested in, the voice cloning, that's this one clone a voice from a sample recording. To use this one, unfortunately, you need to um, get one of the paid subscriptions that they offer. But there's a really cheap option if you wanna try it out. It only costs $1 and then you can already generate uh, many minutes of audio. Please keep in mind, I'm not sponsored by 11labs.io in any way. I would love to be, but I'm not. It's just a service that I use uh, I'm one of the paid subscribers and I actually think it is worth the money if you want to make some funny videos, some TikTok, some YouTube videos with Elon Musk's voice or Leonardo DiCaprio or whatever you want. Uh, I think it's pretty useful and it works pretty well. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to get that subscription first. Click here, go to subscription and then you will see all the options again. And as you can see over here, the starter pack First month is 80% off. So you can get this $5 a month for only $1. And then you can try it out and do 30,000 characters. And you can upload uh, up to 10 different voices and you can use it for whatever you want. Even if you have 10 voices, you can just take one out and then introduce another one, you know, train the AI for a new voice. So you can do it indefinitely, but you just have to remove one first and then you can add a new voice. So if you want to try out the subscription, just click over here, click on subscribe, complete the payment process, and then uh, and then you are all done to use the voice cloning uh, tool. When you're done with the payment, just go to the voice lab tab again, and then you will be over here. Then you can click add voice. And now you can finally use the instant voice cloning tool of 11 labs. Just click it over here. Just give it a name. For example, if you want to do SpongeBob, do SpongeBob. And then you need to drop a file in here that is at least one minute long, which is a clean recording of the voice that you wanna clone. So it should have very little to no background voices. It should just be a clear monologue of that person talking. You know, it shouldn't be other people talking uh, in the middle of it. Uh, that will just mess up the AI. So you just want a clean, recording from that person. You can just get it from an interview online or something else, you know, uh, maybe they did a part in a TV show. If you can't find one long string of uh, speech from that person, just, uh, just get a video editor and then just cut up his or her dialogue and just string it together and then throw it uh, in this software. So then if you have your audio file, it can be MP3. I think it also can be WAV, uh, WAV <laughs> or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, then you just throw it over here and then you just confirm this disclaimer over here and then you can add the voice. This disclaimer is just that you're not going to do anything illegal or fraudulent uh, with this tool. Don't do that. <laughs> That's very bad. Uh, you can get in a lot of trouble. So don't do anything illegal with this to try and fool people to buy your shitty product or whatever. <laughs> just... Uh, just try to use this for fun purposes, please. <laughs>
And then you can click add voice and then you're ready to use your trained AI voice. I already trained a bunch of voices over here. We have Elon, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Johnny Bravo. So now I'm gonna show you how it works with the voice generation. There are a few like hidden tools over here which are very important to know if you wanna get good results. So let's take a look at that. Uh, which one should we use? Let's do uh, Joe Rogan. All right, so we have Joe Rogan here. If you wanna change anything, just click one of the voices that you have. They also have a lot of pre-made voices. I'm gonna stick to Joe Rogan for now. And then you can just basically put any text you want over here. For example, hi guys, subscribe to Viral Nico. He's awesome. And then if we click generate here, you can hear Joe Rogan talking. Hi guys, subscribe to Viral Nico, he's awesome. See, that was already quite good. That was already pretty convincing. You do kind of hear like that it's an AI voice, but it's pretty spot on. All right, and now comes the important stuff. There are some hidden settings over here, <laughs> voice settings. I didn't even know this when I first started out. I kept getting like mediocre results, but then I started playing around with this and then I finally got the results uh, that I wanted. So there are two uh, settings that you can change over here. The first one is stability. So the more you put this to the right, the more monotone and robot-y the voice will sound, but it will sound the same pretty much every single time. So it the voice won't be like weird, have any weird inflections that doesn't make any sense. You just get pretty much the same monotone thing uh, that you want over here. So if you don't mind that it sounds a bit robot-y, but you want, just wanna get consistent results, then put this slider all the way to the right. To the left, uh, the voice will sound more human. It will get more like inflections and sound enthusiastic and louder and softer and blah, blah, blah. So that's what you get over when you put the slider to the left, but you will get less consistent results. So it's gonna sound different every single time. And then we have the second slider, which is called clarity plus similarity enhancement. If you put the slider all the way to the right, then it will sound much more like the, the voice recordings that you gave to the AI that you trained it with. So that's really positive, but if your recording was not perfect, if there were like background noises or whatever, then you will start to get artifacts in your uh, recording, uh, which means that you will just hear like random sounds, maybe just like random background noises, you know, stuff that you don't want in the recording. So if the recording that you used to train the AI wasn't like perfect crystal clear, then if you put this slider too much to the right, you will start to get artifacts. You will start to get noise, which you don't want. So just try to put this slider as far to the right as you can without producing artifacts. And that will be the perfect uh, part. That will be the perfect slider position for your situation. That's pretty much it. That's how to use 11 labs. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Subscribe for more AI content coming up. I got way more cool AI stuff that I want to show you guys. All right, take care. See you. Bye-bye.